Hello and welcome to our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 329. We woke up in our room here at Caribbean Beach today and got ready for the day. And once we were ready, I left the room and went up to the front of the resort and I got on the Magical Express bus because I am going on a solo adventure today. Alyssa is staying behind here at Caribbean mm -hmm. Beach. When I got to the airport, I walked over by the Magic of Disney store and I found that they had just installed these massive video screens. One of them outside the store that had a slideshow of Galaxy's Edge going on and one inside the store that had just different ambient clips from around the park, which was really cool. So I was walking through there. I had plenty of extra time because Magical Express <laughs> always gets you there early even earlier than you really need to be there usually. So I walked around the store for a bit and then went over to Chick-fil-A to get myself some breakfast. After I got breakfast there at Chick-fil-A, I ate that and headed through security to the gate. I was still very early for my flight, so I sat down and texted Alyssa and she got out the Apple TV, I got out my iPad, and we decided to watch Disney Plus together, separately, for <laughs> our job. We were gonna watch the first episode of The World According to Jeff Goldblum. I love Jeff Goldblum. I was very much looking forward to watching watching this when they announced it. The first episode was awesome. I loved it. And Alyssa was like, yeah, you can watch the rest of the episodes by yourself. I did not find this as interesting as he did. So we're texting while we're watching this show. He's like, isn't this great? Oh my goodness, that was hilarious. And I'm like, I didn't laugh at any of this. He's just really annoying. And it was funny because he absolutely loved it. Not my cup of tea. And that's okay because there's plenty of other things I can watch on there and I learned that that is just not one of those things I wanna watch. And while he was gone today, I was not just sitting around, I was actually getting stuff done. I organized all the pins we had so I could take a picture so we knew what we had and what we didn't. We've been doing a lot of pin trading throughout the year and we have no idea what pins we have anymore. And also trying to make sure that they're protected wherever they are so they don't break. I was also organizing our suitcases, making sure those were all set. And then I had something that I really, really didn't wanna do and we've been putting off. I started looking at apartments because there is going to be life after our year living at Disney and this is really not something we want to think about. We like living in the bubble, we like being in the bubble, we don't want to leave the bubble, but we will need to at some point and so we had a bunch of different apartments nearby that we were looking at. So I was going through and checking out the details for them and also looking at reviews that people have left because that is very important when you're looking at apartments. And I managed to bring it down to three different ones. I had them in order, first, second, third. So I sent the first one to Robert that I like the most. And I said, I think this is where we wanna go. Check it out, tell me what you think. I'm gonna schedule an appointment so we can go check it out in person and not just see the photos. When I landed at the airport, my dad and brother were there to pick me up because I am in North Carolina to pick up our car. My dad has fixed it, it is running fine. He's actually been driving it for a few weeks now to make sure everything's good. So we went all the way to my dad's house and picked up the car. I was very excited to be reunited with the car again. And I did pick up a couple things to bring back with me. Alyssa did ask me to get our Christmas decorations from our stuff that was in storage at my dad's. We do have a few containers of ornaments and garland and stuff like that that we did keep. So I put those in the back of the car and I got out on the road to start the drive back to Florida. It was a little later than I wanted it to be, but there's only so many flights in the day into that airport. And so we wound up getting like a midday flight and that's okay because I'm just happy to have my car back even though I've got a long drive ahead of me. I got on the road and shortly after I got going, I realized it had been a while since I'd eaten and I was hungry. So I stopped where you must always stop when you're in North Carolina and need some food. I went to Bojangles to get some chicken and mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese. I love Bojangles, grew up eating there and they don't have them many places outside of North and South Carolina. So I got a dinner there and got back on the road. And as I was driving, I had a bunch of random Disney songs playing on my Spotify. But the very first one I played was On the Open Road from a Goofy Movie. That is a must to start every road trip for me. No matter where we're going, we gotta start off with yeah. that song. I played through a ton of other music. I was just trying to make sure I stayed awake while I was driving. The good news was that it was close enough to a holiday. People weren't quite traveling yet. 
because they were saving up to leave the day before the holiday, but they hadn't been traveling from the weekend. So it was really pretty open on the roads and I was just moving. There was hardly any traffic, no accidents to slow me down or anything, which was great. And about the time I got to the Florida Georgia line, I realized that I was very, very hungry again. But the problem was it was about midnight and Chick-fil-A is not open. There's no Bojangles around, they're not open either. There's no Culver's around. All my favorite places are closed. So I stopped at Wendy's and got the trusty four for four because I just need a little more food to get me through. I knew I only had a couple hours left because I'd made it to the Florida line. So I got back on the road and I did make it through the Welcome to Disney World sign right about 3.15 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I was very tired at this point, but I knew I was almost there. Got to Caribbean Beach, parked, and as I was walking over to the room, it was absolutely silent at the resort because, mm -hmm. well, it's 3.30 in the morning. But what was really cool is it had cooled down during the evening and there was steam rising off the lake and the Riviera Resort that is being built and is almost done was just beautiful across the water with the reflection on the water and I just love the way it looks so I stopped and had to take some pictures and some video because it was just so still and quiet and peaceful so as soon as I was done with those I hurried to the room because it is pretty chilly out here Alyssa had waited up for me and I was very excited to be able to go to bed because I was very tired but I'm also very happy to have the car back we're no longer gonna have to uber between resorts we're gonna have somewhere to leave stuff in the car it's very exciting Exciting, but now it's time for bed. So that was the end of our day today, and we'll see you tomorrow for our year with the ears.